what I've learned in this operation that the wider Army should know, particularly our lower enlisted soldiers, is this is what we want to do. This is as close to live action as you will get. It's real world training in a simulated environment. It's an awesome experience. You're on another part of the world doing some cool stuff. This is why we signed up. I just think it's cool to watch different organizations come together to kind of unite different National Guards from different states. Um, there's missions going on here in Tantan -tan and Greer Labui and uh, Tifnit and Tafrau and over in Senegal, uh, Tunisia, up in Agadir. So I think it's really interesting to watch active duty and National Guard guys come together uh, and just watch them be cohesive and operate in a field environment like this. We've been doing some combined arms training with different partners we have from around the world. We've had an excellent opportunity to train with the Singhalese and the Moroccan Army today. We've had a chance to integrate and share some of the weapon systems, the knowledge and the tactics that we have, as well as get a chance to throw some of our Joes on their weapon systems and then vice versa. It's been great. So as a whole, I would say cultural competence is one of the biggest things. One of the key players here is, is knowing the different forces that we have and aid around the world. So having that opportunity to actually train with them really makes a huge difference. So what I would say is that if anybody has a chance to come and train with coalition partners or anyone from around the world, different armies, it's a wonderful experience. And yes, it's different, um, the terrain's different, but that makes stronger, more agile leaders and soldiers. And if you had that opportunity, whether you're in the Georgia Guard, or New York Guard, or active duty component, jump on these opportunities. It really makes a difference in our readiness. So I didn't know before I came here that the Moroccan government was the first to recognize a U.S. independence. And that's big. That's big. Also, I didn't realize how interconnected, how much the Moroccans and the Senegalese are intertwined, how much they conduct operations, how they familiar they are with each other. So I think that relationship, the, the Morocco-U.S.-Senegalese relationship, is strong really just because of those, those two main things. So that, that's really my takeaway. Morocco is of strategic importance um, because they're our lifelong friends, and they've been our friends um, since the beginning of our, the forming of our country. Thank you.